is my sample worktop. All together I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 rows. Doesn't matter how many you have, as long as we finish on row 3. And that is when we did a chain 3 at the start, and then we did one double crochet right there at the end of the row. Now to finish off, I've just cut my yarn, so that would be just normal. Then we're just going to grab the yarn tail and put it through the loop and pull that tight. And then we're going to need to sew in our yarn tail. So you don't have too many ends to sew in on this project, considering it's a scrap project. If you're using that Russian join, then it's brilliant. So I'm just going to go down the edge there. Pull that too tight, and then I'm just going to work my way across. And then I'm just going to cut off my yarn. Oops, hang on, I'm going to go back across. So skip the last loop. You can see how that's coming out there. Skip that last one, first one there, sorry, and then go back across. Also, don't forget to share your work in progress and any yarn that you're using and finished items on our Facebook event and also onto Facebook as well and tag it on Instagram. So we've got our, my, I've got, just got a sample, but you'll have your project finished and we're going to have it right sides facing because the when we do the border or the edging, it's all on the one side. So you want the first row to be facing us. The yarn tile that we just sewed in there, if that's on your left, you are now looking at the right side of your work. So you're looking at the right side of your crochet. You can use any colour that you like for this. It's made up of two rounds, because then we're working in rounds because we're doing all the way around. So the first round is a chain and a single crochet round. And then the next one after that is like what we've been doing here with the three stitches so if you don't want your single crochet and your chain round to stand out do it in the same color as you want your three double crochets so you would use this color for the next two rounds if you want it to blend in but if you want it to stand out you could use this color and then change it each round that we go so you can basically join it anywhere Let's join it over here. So there's the top right hand side, but like I said, you can join it anywhere. Someone's eaten my crochet hook. I'll be back. My couch ate my crochet hook. And if you'd like to get one of these crochet hooks, these are the Chillip brand. I'm gonna put a link for you in the description box and it's an affiliate link. If you make a purchase through that link, it will give me a small commission and it helps me keep all my um, videos and patterns and everything, all my content free for you. So it's a great way of supporting me, but also you get to get a, a, a product and you don't have to, it's no extra cost to you. So what I'm trying to say is that you can support my videos, but it's at no extra cost to you if you were going to make a purchase anyway. So it's really great. We also use the Clover crochet hooks which I can't see right next to me at the moment but I've got the clover brand as well so that link is there for you too and also a link for where you can grab this yarn from um, Red Heart so but you will need to follow that link and then make a purchase after you've clicked on that link to give me commission anyway so on the next bit we've got our yarn we're just going to pull it through and just in case you didn't say that, I've just put my crochet hook through the space in the top corner, so in there, and we're just going to pull that through. You want to leave about two to three inches at the back, so drop the, the uh, tail there, and then pick up the main yarn. 
with your crochet hook pull through and I'm just going to pull that down actually I might just shift it across so that it's sitting get rid of this bit so that it's sitting over on this side of that space I need to shift it across there we go so our pattern in the corner we do single crochet chain three and single crochet in the same space working across here we're just going to be working into the spaces like we did when we just did the the main part of the blanket we're going to chain two and we're going to single crochet in that space so we only do a chain three into the corner and we do a chain two into the space if you find that's too tight you could change that up for a chain for a chain three but personally I only need a chain two so we're doing chain two single crochet in the next space just realized I'm miles away from the camera there chain two single crochet in the next space I'm just going to leave the camera going because I'm almost at the end of this chain two single crochet in the space chain two and we're up to the end one here so this one is single crochet chain three single crochet and it's all in that same space and the reason that we put two single crochets in there not just one like we have been doing is because we're going around a corner and we need a little bit of extra crochet in there otherwise it's not going to lay flat and it's going to look funny so and then you can just shift that down a little bit so that it's see how it's at each corner of our space we've got there so I'm just going to turn my work a bit you can imagine trying to fit a whole blanket in front of my camera I'm you can't actually see what I'm looking at but it's all bunched up below like below this level and when I've worked blankets before it's just impossible it's like trying to shove a blanket into a shoe box it's not going to fit so chain two and now our spaces are these spaces here and there and this is when we've done a chain two or three at the start or a double crochet at the end of our rows and it's created the spaces on the end here so that's what we're going to work into so single crochet into the space chain two 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 and repeat across now I'm just looking at my work and it's kind of curling over there and that normally means that we don't have enough stitches so I'm just going to check this you c can you don't want to stretch it like really stretch it but you're just going to tug on it slightly and see if that will lay flat so I'm not stretching it I'm just as you can see just giving it a gentle tug and just seeing if that will lay flat because that side there was doing it too you can see that's slightly curved over but that's fine that will lay flat when we block it you can see there that it's laying flat if yours were starting to curl up like that you may want to take this out and do a chain three when after we did our single crochet do a chain three and then just keep with your chain three there I don't think you're going to need a chain four in the corner that should be fine it's just depending on people's tension you may need a chain three there so that's a good way to look don't go all the way around do sort of maybe two sides and yeah you are gonna have to pull it out but I think you would rather have that first row done uh, first round done sorry 
so that it sits nice and flat you don't want it curved over because it'll look, it'll look funny but just with a gentle tug that actually lays flat so I'm happy with that Okay, so we're coming up to the, this is what, the very first, no, this is the end of row one, but it's the beginning chain there, that's where we started. We're going to work over this. We're not going to go into any chain spaces, we're going to continue on and work into the space. So we've got chain two, we're going to single crochet, and we're going to chain three, and then if you want, turn your work and then single crochet into the space. So you can see that goes around the corner there. And now working, this is the, uh, what do you call it? The beginning chain. <laughs> oh dear, we are so professional right now. We're going to work across the beginning chain and into here, that's where in these spaces, you probably already know where you're going to go anyway, but in these spaces across, that's where we're going to work our single crochet. So we've done single crochet, we did chain two. Oops, sorry guys. And single crochet in the space, chain two. Single crochet in the space, chain two. I don't know why I'm telling you what to do, you probably already know what you're doing. So it's a really easy edging. And sometimes you just need that, don't you? You don't want a pattern that's complicated. You want to crochet, but you don't really want to pay attention, so. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So again, we are up to, what well, I am, up to the corner. So it's a single crochet, chain three, so that was one, two, three, turn, and then when you work your single crochet, go over there, your crochet hook, and that should make sure your single crochet is over on the corner there. And now I'm just going to work all the way across, and when I get to my next corner, I'm actually going to be back at the beginning. So pause the video, and I'll meet you when we're ready for the next round. I'm at the end of my round and our single crochet is there and that's where we're going to join. We're going to go into the top of the single crochet stitch and then pull through that loop. We are going to finish off our yarn. Just cut off my yarn. And then pull that through. I'm going to sew that in after. I may even recycle this project so I don't want to get too carried away. So as you can see, it looks like it's been munched on. But this is when you can just give it a quick tug. And we can also block this, so you're going to wet it and pin it out. Actually, you don't have to pin it out, you'll probably just wet it and then... I'm not stretching it, as you can see, I'm just... Look how flat that lays. I was actually worried just then that it wasn't going to go flat. But as you can see, it has. Yay. So now we're up to round two of our edging. So this edging consists of two rounds. So the first one is your single crochet in your chains. And then your next round is the one we are about to do. I am actually going to use a different colour because I did finish off my yarn. Because I want to make it easier for you to see. And if I use a different colour, it's a lot easier. grabbing your new colour, put your crochet hook into the chain 3 space that is on the corner there. Lay your yarn over your crochet hook, pull your yarn through, leave about 2-3 to three inches on the back and then pull that through to secure that. And make sure your yarn is over on the edge here. So you just want to shift that over a little bit. And for this one, 
it's like if you've made a traditional granny square that's what we're going to do but these chain spaces are going to be our spaces so we're going to chain three work two double crochet into the corner on my Easter one that you may see in this video at the beginning I only did two stitches and then did my chain and then two stitches but I found that was a little bit tight for me so this one I'm going to put in three So if, if you want to do two, you're going to do a chain three and then one double crochet. You're going to chain one. And then into the same space, work three double crochet. Into the chain spaces across, so in our pink one here, we're going to work three double crochet. So it's just like we've been doing for our main part of our blanket or whatever you're making. Go into each chain space and work three double crochet. into the chain three space <laughs> we are going to work three double crochet but if you did two then stick with that chain one and three double crochet and this is all going into the same chain space from the previous round so you can see that's gone around the corner there so we can spin it and we're going to repeat this all the way around so in on the straight sections it's just three double crochet in each chain two space and that is just apart from the chain two space that is just how we work the main section of our blanket so you're going to find this bit really easy to remember you've really got only got to remember the corners but if you've made a granny square before then you'll have a basic idea on what to do in the corner So pause the video and I'll meet you when we're up to the next corner. We're up to the next corner and we're going to work three double crochet. Chain one and three double crochet all in the same space. I know I'm doing this a bit fast but you've seen double crochet a million times. <laughs> so three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around and in the next part of the video I'll mention when we're ready for the next round. So pause the video. So I've just done my last set of three double crochets and I'm ready to join. So this is the chain three. We're going to go into the top there through both loops and then join. You can continue along with the same colour if you like but just for demonstration purposes I'm going to cut that off. And what else have I got here? Let's... My green ran out. So I can't put my green in my edging. It doesn't really have to match because it's a scrap project. So we're going to go into our chain one space here. And we're going to grab our crochet hook. And pull through. Two to three inches at the back. Single crochet. Just kind of shift it over to the side there chain three and single crochet in the same space we're going to work across and we are going to work a chain two and single crochet in the next space which kind of all disappears because they look like they're all sort of just one round uh, like you know what I mean like one solid part but even though they are, can be divided by three so 
single crochet in that space, chain two, and work your way along. Whoops. <laughs> did you notice what I did there? Chain two, single crochet. And you probably already know how to get around the corner, but I will just leave the camera going just until I get around there, just in case you've forgotten or you're not sure. So up to the corner, we've got three double crochets and a chain one space. The chain one space is going to look like it just doesn't exist. So we'll need just to put your finger in there and single crochet, chain three, and single crochet back in that same chain one space. Chain two, we're going to just turn our work and work down the other side. If you ever hear that noise that you just heard then, it's there's a glass bowl just to my left hand side and I just sometimes tap it with my fingernails or something. Alrighty. So we're going to keep going around. You can go around as many times as you like and you just repeat the first row, which is what we're doing now, which is a single crochet row, and then add in your second row, which is your double crochets. And you can just go for as, as long as you want. If you've got lots of yarn, you could go for quite a while. So yeah, it looks really cool. I'm going to do... So I've got to finish off my grey round, and then I'm going to do another treble... <laughs> treble... Another double crochet round. Here is my finished sample. You can add as many rounds as you like to the edging. This is my finished sample. Easy and fast to work up. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Share creation on Facebook or tag me on Instagram. If you're watching this as part of the Christmas crochet along I hope you have a awesome Christmas and I will see you next year in 2017. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet. And we're going to start with a slip knot and we can do this any way you like. There's all different ways to do that. And it just started raining outside so let's hope it doesn't get too heavy and interrupt our wonderful tutorial. Now this pattern So we want to grab our yarn. You can use 